I want to thank all of you for joining us at the Gateways to Opportunity 2017 Forum. I'm Joni Scritchlow, Senior Program Director at INCRA, and I began at INCRA in 2007. And I decided, for whatever reason this morning, when I went to INCRA, to look in the file and see what happened at the first forum in 2004. So that was just a couple of years before I began at INCRA. And what I found was in December of 2004, at the University of Illinois in Springfield, 71 faculty and dean and administrators convened for the first time ever for a Collaborating for Success Gateways Forum. The funding for that forum was provided by the Illinois Community College Board in partnership with the Illinois Board of Higher Ed and the Illinois Department of Human Services. That initial forum was designed as a work day because there was a proposed hypothetical ECE credential. And it had content areas and some ideas around standards, but the faculty worked for five hours that day putting in place benchmarks and underlying structure for an ECE credential that they hoped would come to be. So what was even more fun is I pulled up the attendance list. And Anne, you were there. <laughs> so was Nancy Latham, Marie Donovan, Wendy Mertes, Cheryl Bulat, and quite a few others of you in this room. I was really like, wow, would you look at that? Many, many of those names also sounded familiar, and they have since retired, because that was almost 15 years ago. It was wonderful to look at that file and think about what they were envisioning what they were hoping for, and literally just a year later in 2005, Gateways was branded and the pilot launched for that ECE credential. So what great work was done and envisioned at that first 2004 forum. I really want to recognize all of you as faculty and all of our state partners who have been part of this work for more than a decade now. So kudos to all of you, and what a great uh, thought here as we kind of begin this 2017 forum. As we continue to build and strengthen our credentials and to advance our professional development system, we have that strong legacy and work that we can build on. The original scope and kind of the resiliency of that work, the vision they had for a statewide credentialing system founded on critical knowledge that would be required by early care and education teachers is still the foundation that we are using today. So I ask each of you in 2030, which is the same time and distance between that forum and today, as between today and that future forum, in 2030, Who's going to look back at the 2017 forum? What creative ideas might we come up with? What's going to originate? What innovative thoughts are going to happen? And they're going to say, wow, that all began at the higher ed forum in 2017. I'm not sure if I'll be, I'll be in that retired group maybe by then. But I'm like, wow, we should hold that thought because that means we've got a high standard to uphold here. We've got to be creative and innovative and very thoughtful at this forum in order to be able to show in the year 2030, we did really good work. So thank all of you for being here today. Thank some of you for having been there back in the day in 2004, where a lot of this work originated. We've got a few housekeeping notes that I need to go over. How many of you got a red folder when you checked in? Hooray! <laughs> if you did not get a red folder, right outside the door we have a registration desk and we have folders for everyone. You can tell from the agenda in that folder, we got a whole lot packed in these next two days. After our state agency representatives here speak this afternoon, there is a brief networking time before dinner. There's an outdoor courtyard, there's a lobby bar, all of those are great places to relax. But I need you to be prompt for dinner. You can't do too much networking and relaxing because our dinner starts this evening by recognizing our Voices Monograph authors. So I need you to be on time at 6 o'clock. And then our keynote presentation this evening will be, what does the research tell us about preschool expulsion? A very timely topic that I know many of you are very interested in. There's additional networking opportunities this evening. 
But again, you're going to have to pace yourself because we're starting at 7 a.m. in the morning for those of you who are early birds. How many of you are early birds in the room? Just out of curiosity. There's a few of us. Okay, good. If you're an early bird in the morning, and even if you're not, you might want to make yourself get out of bed. We have an opportunity from 7 to 8 o'clock for you to sit at a table and have breakfast with the author of your favorite chapter in that Voices publication, Voices from the Field. So that's a great opportunity that I think is worth getting out of bed for in the morning. And then we're going to have a couple of sessions of workshops of choices for you to choose from. And then we're going to close our forum tomorrow with a keynote presentation from Charla Long, a national expert on competencies. And we will make sure you are on the road by about 1.15 tomorrow to head back home. An electronic evaluation is going to be sent out right after the forum. I really ask you to fill it out. The planning committee each year starts by looking at the survey from the previous year. What can we do better? What should, what should we change? So it's really important that you take a few minutes to fill out that evaluation and survey. And if you have any questions at any point in time on anything, materials, links, the junk drive you were given, anything, please see Andrew Hand. Andy's over here. He is our go-to for higher education. All right, so from that, very good. So from that packed agenda, I want to recognize the planning committee for this forum. When I call your name, would you please stand? Kathy Main, Diane King, Jamila Jordan, Joyce Weiner, Karen McCarthy, Lori Morrison Frichtel, Melissa Johnson, Melissa Batchelor, Robin Miller Young, Stephanie Bernatite, Ty Giles. These folks worked hard and long on your forum. Thank you. And I also want to recognize our funders for the forum. The McCormick Foundation has been a long-standing partner for the last decade in funding this forum, and they were unable to send a representative today. But we have two other partners who've been uh, in this equally long. The Illinois Head Start Association, represented by Lori morrison Frichtel, and Ann Wark, representing the Illinois Department of Human Services. We could not host these type of events without that funding. So it's always important that they value and they see the, the need for this type of a forum um, each year. I want to also thank the Center for providing videography. We are going to post some of these on the Gateway's website. You can see sessions that you were unable to see the first time. Maybe when your choice tomorrow, there's two sessions and you want to get to both. Well, you can watch one of them later that, be, that will be posted. For those of you who like reruns, you can watch your favorite parts over and over and over again if you'd like. Your folder also in the information that's included in it has bios. It has uh, workshop descriptions in it. It also has a one-page summary of ECE competencies and how we got to where we are today. There's also a preliminary report of findings on a special project between the McCormick Foundation and INCRA to advance infant, toddler, teacher education levels. So please take a look at some of those. And your jump drives have a wealth of resources and information. Plug those into your computers when you get home. If you don't have one with you now, check it out. And last but not definitely least, the INCRA Professional Opportunities and Development Team is mostly standing in the back of the room in a few other places, led by Andy Hand, led by Julie Lindstrom, who many of you know, Stephanie Helmer, Tammy O'Daniel, Alicia Fatka, Teresa Gammon, Sean Franklin. This is our pod team who makes the behind the scenes of the work at the forum. Thank you all very, very much. All right, we are going to get started with our state agency panel, and I want to introduce to you Stephanie Bernotite from the Illinois Board of Higher Ed. Stephanie is going to be the facilitator today for the panel. Her bio is in your folder. I don't need to read that to you. What you need to know about Stephanie is probably not in her bio. She is a tireless advocate for early care and education. She builds relationships. She makes connections between people. Stephanie works very, very hard, both behind the scenes and in anywhere that she sees there's a gap that needs to be addressed. I would say Stephanie's one of the better people in thinking about systems, state systems and state development. She's a go-to person if you need help. She's a good friend. Stephanie? Thank you. 
appreciate that very much, Joni. We're going to have a little bit of a transition here uh, to the slides for our very first presenter, Kathy Storr. But before I introduce Kathy, I did want to ask, encourage you to please take and have at your spot near you one or two of the white note cards in the center of your table. We do want to, throughout the panel time frame today, collect questions. So please have something close to you as something occurs, a comment, a question, um, a suggestion. Please jot that down on one of those white note cards. The INCRA staff will be available at different points during our panel times this afternoon to collect those cards from you, and we will pause for some Q&A time to respond. So thank you for grabbing a card and having that at Responsive to the comments you yourselves have made and others who have been previous attenders um, or attendees of the forum. Um, we've heard repeatedly that it's been very important for you to come away from this conference with as much information as possible about the state and national landscape that has influence on the work you do in preparing early childhood professionals. So the purpose of our time today is to provide you with several snapshots of that state and national landscape that we hope will be helpful um, in your daily work and in terms of doing some of the visioning that Joni talked about at the beginning of her remarks. I found that kind of inspiring. I don't know about you, but I thought 2030. <coughs> Hmm, that is a goal to think about. In the midst of all the daily to-do lists we have, let's go ahead and just go big. 2030, here we come. 